So, can you resize an array in C Sharp? This is Daniel, and you are going to get coded. Today, as I said, I'm going to look at the array.resize method. So let's begin. There is a method called array.resize, which might do what it expresses through its name, meaning to resize or to change the size of the array. But we said that arrays are immutable. If you haven't watched that, please click on this video over here. Well, this statement of immutability still holds true. What the resize method does is that it creates a new array in the background and reassigns it to the initial array. So it's not changing the array. Is this a performance issue? Certainly. But let's see how this, is, how this behaves. So I want to remove half of the items for the array. So let's say I have a fruits array. And you notice here that I pass the fruits variable by a reference. And I'm going to return to this uh, in a couple of seconds. But as you see here, we have, an ar we have the array that resize and we pass the fruits array. And then we specify how many items we want. This actually creates a new array in the background and reassigns it. This is a performance issue because it recreates the, uh, it, it creates, it reallocates memory and then creates a new array and reassigns it to um, the actual array. In the end, indeed, we have only two items. Let's see what MSDN, Microsoft Developer Network, says. The resize method allocates a new array with the specified size, copies elements from the old array to the new one, and then replaces the old array with the new one. And you can read it for yourself here. But let's return, return back to passed by reference. So to change va uh, variable values with methods, you can either take in a variable and return a new value, or you pass it by reference, ref, the ref keyword, to the method, and inside the method itself, that variable gets changed, and you don't need to return any value. So there are two ways of doing this. You either pass in a variable by reference, and all the, all the operations that are, um, that are on that variable in that method is going to be Ref are going to be reflected in that variable. So when that method ends, those values are um, are reflected in that variable. Or you can pass in still a variable and then return um, a value from a method and reassign that value. If this still is complicated, I will make a separate video for this. So how to pass um, var uh, variables or arguments by value and by reference. And I'll make a comparison between these two because I know it's a um, more it's a complicated subject. But this is what I have for you today. If you if you find it helpful, please click thumbs up. Also, my goal right now is to have 1,000 subscribers, so consider subscribing. Thank you so much, and see you guys. Bye.